हेलो थैंक यू गुनो बेटा सो आई थिंक वी आर लाइव नाउ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यप हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सर वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम थ्रेड डॉट कॉम माई नेम इज़ रमनदीप सिंह एंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ सेबी ग्रेड ए लाइफ सीरीज एंड अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू डू द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स दिस इज़ द सेकेंड सेशन फॉर द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स विच इज़ अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक uh yesterday there was a mistake uh, which i'm going to rectify today so accounting standard 6 the accounting standard 6 uh has been replaced by which section the accounting for depreciation the accounting standard 6 has been replaced by which accounting standard as6 accounting for depreciation has been replaced in 2016 uh, in 2000 in the year 2016 by which section uh, students if there is any doubt in your mind you can always use the super chat because it is a live session and i want to answer all your doubts and i want to answer all your doubts thank you so uh just ask your doubts students okay and tell me the correct answers in here yep everything is working fine so let me okay So if you know the correct answer, I am reading. Uh, Risha Baroda is there. Uh, just tell me the answer. Anyway, the correct answer is Accounting Standard Ten. It is C, Accounting Standard Ten. This is the correct answer. No need to take the screenshots of the questions. I am going to provide the PDF for all the questions that I am doing on my live sessions. I am going to compile all the uh, questions and going to provide it to you. AS Ten is the correct answer. Accounting Standard Ten. It covers plant, uh, property, plant, equipment, and AS Six is also you know come uh, merged into AS Ten. So I th- I'm really thankful to a student who you know. pointed out that this has been merged i'm really thankful to you a firm uh, produces pens a firm is producing pens and a raw material it, it uses a raw material uh, which comes in a plastic container and at the end of the year a firm is left with 1 lakh such plastic uh, containers and the scrap value of such plastic containers is is rupees 2 rupees 2 uh is is the value of that plastic container so uh, the value of container at the end of year is 2 lakh rupees so what kind of asset is this is it a fixed asset is it an inventory is it a is it a current asset other than inventory or is it stock in trade so so give me uh, so just tell me uh, uh how to show this transaction the scrap of the you know material that is left with us now again this is the practical implementation of as2 accounting standard for inventories what is the definition of inventory anything that we hold for the sale in the ordinary course of business or in the process if it is in the process or if it is in the consumption in the process of goods so important point here is we are we are not in the business we are not in the business of we are not in the business of selling containers this is not a business this is the end product this is not the end product this is the sort of wastage for us so we are not in a business of containers so container is not our inventory neither it is a fixed asset because this is not a fixed asset these containers do not help us to you know produce our uh, our finished products so it is it is not even a stock in trade it is a current asset other than uh, inventory and raw material it is a current asset yes it is a current asset other than raw inventory and raw material according to accounting standard 2 as per as2 inventory would be valued i have already done that question for uh, you know some other you know topic i have already done that i think that i i have done that for uh, i think for de- in the depreciation uh, you know topic but uh, according to the inventory for the inventories inventories should be valued at inventories please mention the question number while answering a b c d inventory should be valued at historical cost or net realizable value or whichever is higher whichever is lower or replacement cost according to inv- uh, according to the as2 it should be valued at the inventory should be valued at will be valued at historical cost or net realizable value whichever is lower so whichever is lower historical cost or uh, net realizable value whichever is lower 
that's how it should be valued so accounting standard 9 again you need to remember the number or numbers of all the accounting standards the accounting standard 9 is deal with uh, with what depreciation valuation of inventory inventory is as2 depreciation is now as10 revenue recognition foreign exchange transaction contingency is an event occurred after the balance sheet you should just tell me the name it is revenue recognition what it is revenue recognition revenue recognition okay now what is revenue recognition let me tell you so revenue recognition revenue recognition de deals with revenue obtained from execution of construction contracts revenue from the uh, the government grants or uh, revenue from consignment and hire purchase revenue generated from interest dividend royalties or revenue generated by insurance company see students uh you you receive interest interest is uh, the, the revenue that is uh, uh, you know incurred from a uh, uh, generated from interest or dividend maybe they are incurred in the previous year but now uh, but received now that can be the possibility in which year that interest or dividend should be mentioned so for the year 2018-19 the dividend uh, the interest is received in 2020 2020-2021 in which year interest is related to this year the 2018-2019 uh, and received in 2020-2021 in which year you should uh, you know how to, you should give the impact according to so this uh, uh, accounting standard tells us that if money is on the interest is earned in 2018-2019 the effect should be given in that year only okay so the correct answer is d as per the delivery method revenue is recognized when the title of the good is transferred order is received payment is made when goods are delivered as the name suggests as the name suggests it's a delivery method when the goods are delivered only then the revenue should be recognized so as the name suggests delivery method you delivered the good that's when you made uh, the revenue okay that's very good question delivery method of revenue recognition is not applicable on goods sent on approval basis so if you sent on approval basis this is not final sale if you if it is a higher purchase if it is a higher purchase it's a consignment if, if it is a joint venture if it is a joint venture sorry it, if it is a joint venture is it a final sale so what is the correct answer if the goods are uh, this is not uh, this is not uh, you know uh, this is not a, uh, a proper sale this is not a final sale not a final sale even consignment what is consignment so you are uh, it is like uh, you, uh, you have your ag agents or consignees when you send your goods to your consigners this is not final sale now the people are having your consignments at different locations now they are going to make the sales so this is not a final sale they are uh, not a sort of your final sort of your agents right at different places like a franchisee agreement this is not a final sale in case of higher purchase this is a final sale joint venture is a final sale right in case in the joint venture you are uh, you are making sale this is a final sale so not applicable uh, so a and c in that cases it is not a final sale e is a correct answer xy limited purchased a machinery worth uh, 15 lakhs and they spent 1 lakh on transportation and 50000 on labor and testing during the installation so the cost of machinery is 16 lakh and 50000 as per as per accounting standard 10 the cost uh, the fixed cost the cost of acquiring fixed cost not only includes a purchase of asset but also the incidental charges which helps an asset to perform the uh, specified task so carriage inwards the installation charges all are included in the cost of asset so uh, 16 lakh and 50 thousand is the correct answer as per accounting standard 10 so that's the correct answer the as 11 deals with what contingency depreciation valuation of asset valuation of inventories revenue recognition effect of changes in foreign exchange rates transactions so correct answer is e very simple question please remember the names of all the sections so foreign exchange uh, the effect of changes in foreign exchange rate is the correct answer 
AS11 deals in what? Include the foreign currency transaction in the financial statement. Uh, to include that foreign currency transaction in the financial uh, statement include foreign operations the operations that uh, you are a company in india and you are having the operations outside india to translate or convert financial statement into uh, presentation country currency so uh, you are having your financial statement in us dollars you should convert it into indian rupee how you should do it to report which exchange rate to use and to report changes in exchange rate in uh, financial sta statement, you need to, uh, you know, uh, be sure you need to tell which exchange rate to be used. Exchange rates are, you know, fluctuating every day. So this accounting standard tells us all, all about this. So about all these, all of them are correct about the transaction, which currency to be uh, rate to be used about the foreign, uh, you know, operations, how to convert it. All these uh, points are noted. So that's all for today, students. I hope you like the way I teach. Uh, you hope there is no doubt in your mind. This lecture was pretty easy. If there is any doubt, you should always ask your doubts in the super chat. I'm going to share more questions tomorrow. So uh, get the SEBI grade 2020 course by Ramandeep Singh. That's me. Uh, all the uh, courses, the SEBI grade A course is available on bankexamstudy.com. I am providing the video classes, proper notes are there. We are also providing the test series. Notes are available in downloadable and print friendly format. Descriptive paper evaluation is also provided. We got nine final selections in SEBI grade A 2018. Just join the course on bankexamstudy.com. This is the list of students who crack SEBI grade A 2018 using my study material. The IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2, Bank of Baroda, Wealth Management, NABAD grade A, all these students they used our study material and they're having happy careers look at their smiling faces so i'm really happy for them please follow me on telegram and subscribe this channel this is really really important for me like this video that's also very important for me so that's all for today students thank you and have a very very nice day uh good night <laughs> thank you this mouse is not working Thank you. Thank you.